things that he's capable of. And uh, so up front, we know, we know like that there's some differences as far as like blocking and everything that we need to do. Just there are different styles and everything. Like we don't block harder for one over the other. It's just a matter of different styles. Mm -hmm. And so um, we. We, once we, once I look back and I see him back there, I know what kind of, what, what's going to, what's about to happen, and so we know how to handle it up front with the defense. What's the most impressive thing you've seen from him so far? As far as like the, just like the wow factor, um, I remember the first the first time over the summer when I saw him run. He just runs so effortlessly, like he just he runs so smooth. Um, I haven't I've never really seen in person anything like that. Like I've seen great runners, um, both at junior college level, at the high school level, and even here. I've seen great running backs and everything, but. Um, there's just something about the way that he ran. He ran so smooth and so, like, like I said, just effortlessly it looked like. Um, other than that, like in Lafayette, when he hurdled that guy, I remember I was running downfield. I was trying to find another block, and of course I was looking in his direction, trying to, you know, I want to pick off someone that's near him. And I remember I just saw him hurdle, and I hate to say it, but all my jaw almost dropped. Like, I mean, I, I almost, I almost stopped for a moment. But I mean, you realize when you're on the field, you got to keep going. But I remember just seeing, I was like, wow. But uh. I mean, that was that was probably the most like amazing like wow factor thing I've seen. Out of him. You guys give Kendall a little crap for taking B two down on that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's one of the, the funny things about the offensive line is like in film and stuff uh, we can always find a little bit of humor. We're a pretty fun group, and uh, so yeah, we we kind of rip him a little bit about it. And, um, I mean, he of course he turns around and he'll rip a couple of us about different things. So yeah, we we give him a hard time about stuff like that. Where does this uh, offensive line have to improve the most? At this point, at this point um, I'd say just, just like cleaning up our assignments and uh, finishing, just finishing blocks and everything. Uh, we're we're doing we're doing decent in a lot of aspects, but that would probably be um, coach's biggest biggest concern with us is that we have to finish because we have runners like Daniel and Grant, and even Carson when he gets out there. I mean, I think he showed against UMass that he can get out and run. Um, we have we have the runners. It's just a matter of if we can sustain blocks and stay on them downfield, then we have guys that can pick up the yards. Um, not many people are going to arm tackle anyone, any one of our runners. I mean, they're going to have to get a straight on shot. So if we can get on our blocks and stay on them, they're going to be able to run fast and run through arm tackles. How resilient do you think this group is? This team coming off that loss. I think we're very resilient. Um, I think that that's definitely reflected with uh, Coach Snyder. I know automatically on Sunday we were getting uh, text messages and uh, emails from both Sean and Coach Snyder <clears throat> just saying, hey, we, we still got plenty of football to play. And I think, I mean, just just knowing that Coach is in our corner. I mean, of course he's in our corner because he's our coach. But, like, you know, just knowing that he's, uh, he's really pulling for us to come together as a team right now like never before. Um, there's so much football to play. If we throw in the towel now, it's a very unfortunate thing, and I don't think we will. Um, I think yesterday in practice, uh, it, was, it was a pretty decent day, and um, we're looking to go out today and really just start start really working towards UCLA. And um, right now, I don't, I haven't yet seen anyone that looks like they're dwelling on it at all. We're we're taking it as it is. Um, of course, we're like you know we're very disappointed about it, but at the same time, you have to move on. And we I think we're doing the right things in that direction. It's pretty easy transition. For you to go back to center after you work there. Yeah, I'm, I'm very comfortable um, as far as guard or center. I'm very comfortable. So when my name was called to go play center, I was very comfortable with it. I didn't have any any questions with my ability, and um, I really I feel like the coaches are are uh, they're pretty confident with my abilities there too.